For our research, science research project, we decided to study about brand recognition. And the people in our group are Anna Lineron, Talia Helstein, Simone Levine, Shoshana Black, and Bear Bennett. So here's our introduction. So the question that we chose to study was whether or not brand recognition affects people's perception of different foods. And um, so basically what brand recognition is, is how people recognize brands. And some people like specific foods because just because of the name of its brand. And so we wanted to study this. So our general prediction was that the brand of an item will affect people's perceptions of food because we originally thought that people will like the name brand better since they may be more familiar with it. And we also think thought that the students' opinions will be changed when we lie because branding has a greater power than taste. Um, our goal is by doing this test, we hope to convince people that they can spend less money buying the generic brand rather than the name brand. We also hope that people will go shopping in the grocery store and consider buying the generic brand, which could actually taste better than the name brand, which you probably normally buy. So this is our background information. People tend to spend majority of their money on food, which can be very expensive, but they can, you can also buy the off brand, which saves yourself money and you might like it just as much. So you might think that you like the taste of name brands more because it's known to be more expensive and higher quality, but it's all psychological. Uh, so for our test, we use um, for the food, drink, and materials, we use Oreos and Little Dutch Maid, Tropicana, and Bright and Early. Cheerios and toasted O's. And then for the materials, we use cuts, blindfolds, uh, and we all had computers with our data sheets. All the generic foods and drinks were bought from Western Beef. So we did the, this test three times, all a little differently. So before we did our testing, we blindfolded all of the students. For first test, we tricked the students into thinking that they were eating the generic brand when they were eating the name brand and vice versa. Then we asked them which was their favorite. For the second test, we asked the students which brand was their favorite without them knowing the brands they were. For the third test, we told the students the truth about which food was which, with, with which branding was which, and then we asked them which was their favorite. After completing all the tests, we asked the students, before taking the test, what did you think you would like better? the generic or name brand. So here are the reasonings behind the test and why we chose to do them the specific way that we did. So we did the lying test where we lied to the students in the beginning because um, in the beginning, uh, because after doing some truth tests, people knew that we were lying about the food that they were given. So we had to, so that was like, that's how it was in the beginning. So we had to change the order of the test and we re restarted the process. And the second reason is that we chose to give the students orange juice between the Oreos and the Cheerios um, in order to have a liquid wash down what they previously ate and to cleanse their palate. And lastly, we tested sixth and eighth graders to have a range between um, students and chose not to test seventh graders because it could reflect our results. And some seventh graders are the ages of sixth and eighth graders. Josh. Josh, we can't hear you. Oh, here's the analysis and conclusion. I can't really see, but for... Okay, okay. so... Yeah, so... For Oreos, for all three tests, majority like the name brand better. 
and this wasn't a surprise because people like the name brand better since they're more familiar with it and it's more popular. And then for orange juice, for all three tests, majority like the generic orange juice better. And this was a shock because we thought they would like the name brand better since they'd be more familiar with it. And we think that the reason behind, we think that the reason um, the generic was like more and why it's less shocking than the Oreo is being like more is, beca is because um, orange juice is a simple recipe and is not, it's pretty, it's mostly the same ingredients when you make it, but Oreos is a more complex and different um, recipe. And then for Cheerios, for the first test, the generic, the majority like the generic, and for the last two tests, majority like the name brand better. And this wasn't a surprise to us because the Cheerios were so similar that they couldn't be told apart. They were so identical. And we think the reason why for the first test generic was like more was because they were told it was a name brand. So for this one specific food, branding did affect people's perception, but only this one, this one test. So these graphs show that you can save money buying generic orange juice because this is what majority liked for all of the tests. However, you can save money buying the generic Oreos because for all three tests, the name brand was the one majority liked. Oreos is a very popular brand and has a very specific taste. The generic brand of Cheerios tasted, tastes very similar to the name brand, which is why for the first test, the generic brand was liked more, and for the second and third test, the name brand was preferred. So areas to improve and errors we had, and also some limitations. So as we mentioned before that we did the line test first, students knew we were lying, so we had to fix the order of our tests, so we had to, um, delete all the data we got and restart it. We also wish that we we had given the students water in between each test and each food so that to cleanse their palates and we could have gotten different results. We also wish we had done a different survey question because our, saver, our survey question was too general and we couldn't compare it to our data which was about the food specifically and if we had done a more specific food about each test, each food, then could, it could have been compared to our data. Uh, all right, so overall, our prediction was mostly wrong uh, because most students were not affected uh, by the name brand. And from our results, uh, branding does not have an effect on people's perception of food. Thank you for listening. Does anyone have any questions or comments? And, and this is our work cited list. Thanks, guys. Can you all know the drill. Uh, you can open up the participants list to see who's raising their hand and just call on them. Layla. Um, I thought yours was really cool because like, I felt like it was pretty original and it's kind of cool how you like lied to them. It's pretty cool. So I liked yours. Thank you. Thank you. Questions anyone? Uh, Harry Troy. I really liked it. It was really cool. I've actually always wondered that. But I have one question. With the foods, like, did you guys taste it yourself to see if you thought that there was any difference? Or, like, did you look at the ingredients to see if there was, like, actually any difference in how it well, actually tasted? We tasted uh, the foods, but we didn't yeah. check the ingredients. Yeah, like, um, we tried the Cheerios, and they were, like, so identical. And the generic orange juice, I think, was a little sweeter, which was why that's what some students said. And the name brand Oreos are just, everyone really, like, just likes Oreos. Yeah, it's a lot better. And so everyone knows that taste. Yeah.
Yeah, Any other questions? Up with the orange scooter. So there's no other questions from the class. Um, I had a couple of things. Uh, one, could you all just clarify, um, did every one of your test subjects take all three tests? Yeah. 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 Okay, got it. Um, and then on your graphs, you had your three bars were uh, lying, truth, and favorite. Was favorite blind or was favorite what you asked them afterwards? It was blind. No, all all was blind. They're all blind, all three tests you couldn't see. Well, I mean, yeah, we did. Um, but in terms of, sorry, blonde is maybe the wrong word, uh, but in terms of uh, you had the one where you told them which brand was which, the one where you told them the opposite of which brand was which, and then you said there's one test where you didn't tell them either, yeah. right? Well, we, I guess we were trying to show, like, we were, oh, yeah. I, maybe so, favorite wasn't a good name for the third, the second test. We meant by, like, we just didn't tell them any brands. We okay. asked them for all the tests, which one was their favorite at the end, but that was just the one we didn't tell them about any brand. Yeah. So maybe that would have like we could have done no no um no idea of branding. Maybe that was a better time. Got it. So to clarify, the on the graphs, the one listed as favorite was actually the one where they didn't know anything about yeah. the brands. Yeah, yeah, we hope that that would show that okay. like the branding didn't affect. Got it. Um, and then uh, you said that the the graphs show. Um, you talked about the in your conclusions that the or. In describing the graphs that the cost of these foods whether or not you can save money is shown by the graphs um, I'm not exactly sure that it shows the cost so much as what people's preferences are um, but what did you mean by showing the cost well in our background Wait. we did it wasn't in our slides but we didn't get a specific but we used an app like a semi, uh, calculator and it can tell you how much money you save by buying the generic brand rather than the name brand of foods and like how many times you buy it per month and um the, the graph didn't really show they, it didn't show about anything about cost just about people's perception and if people like the orange juice better <laughs> the generic orange juice better then they can save money so that's yeah. how we kind of like Really yeah, the idea is just that most people tend to buy the more expensive brand because they think it's better, but they can actually buy the off brand and save money. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, well, those are my main questions. Uh, one last chance. Anybody else have anything they want to say or add? All right.